My little elf helper is back. The popcorn machine? Oh my gosh. This is the one they have in their house? Uh oh. Kobe. Yeah. I didn't realize that Christmas was going to be this tough for me. <laughs> Christmas Eve, you guys. Today's vlog is gonna be Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We're combining them. I realized looking through previous years, I've actually been combining these two, so that makes complete sense. But I'm taking a little break from salad making right now. I'm not even kidding. I spent almost half an hour shredding all of these Brussels sprouts. The salad's so good, like the end product is so good. It's the Julia Havens Kale and Brussels Sprout Salad. It's such a hit, everybody loves it, but I have been rarely making it because it is such a pain in the ass. You have to shred everything very finely and if you cut corners on that, the salad just does not have the same texture and that's like half of the joy of the salad. So you have to painstakingly shred everything and I'm going to have to do this twice because I'm also making the salad for Christmas so <laughs> my back hurts <laughs> but the Brussels sprouts are shredded. They are super finely shredded it's like straight confetti i still need to shred all the kale but trevor is being super nice he's helping out this time on the salad and he is de-stemming all of the kale for me so i can't do anything more until he's done with that which is totally fine i need a break i need to sit down like i said my back is killing me from just standing there shredding so i made some hash browns and then some coffee i'm gonna sit down for a little bit and just chill for a second and then once he's done with the kale i will shred the kale make the dressing, dress the salad, and then it can just sit in the fridge and chill the rest of the day. So, home stretch, I'm almost there on the salad. But today is Christmas Eve, as I said. We have a Christmas Eve tradition for our family. I think I explain this every year, but just a quick recap for anyone who's new this year. When my parents immigrated from the Philippines years ago, they didn't really have people to celebrate Christmas with, so they met other Filipino families and decided to spend Christmas Eve together and it's literally been a tradition that's been going on for I think over 50 years. It's like nuts how long this tradition has been going on. We literally meet every single Christmas Eve with the exception of Christmas Eve 2020 for obvious reasons. But yeah, it's a fun little tradition so we're gonna be doing that tonight. It's gonna be a late night tonight. It usually is but my sister and I are hosting this year so we told my parents we would pick up some of the food. They ordered some paella from Sevilla so we're gonna pick up the paella which means we have to be out of here at five so i've been like trying to work backwards trying to figure out when i have to have everything done because i do want the salad to chill and marinate for a little bit that salad works the best when i feel like it's the best when it's like a full day old but i just i didn't want to make it that early and like make it marinate overnight and stuff so i just decided to do it first thing this morning so that it can marinate for a little while but i also need to finish wrapping some presents everyone for tonight is done so that's good i just have like a handful of presents like maybe five that I need to wrap 
for tomorrow, including our white elephant for tomorrow. Both white elephants for tonight are done, so I'll probably work on that a little bit later. Trevor and I are trying to figure out when we want to watch It's a Wonderful Life. That's a tradition. I always have to watch it on Christmas Eve, but he wants to do it like tonight, but we won't get back here until at the earliest 1 a.m. because like I said, my family's hosting, so we're gonna be staying to clean up, obviously. This Christmas Eve tradition always goes until midnight because at midnight we open presents together and are the first to wish each other Merry Christmas. So it's gonna be late, <laughs> but anyways, okay, I'm rambling. I am gonna go sit down and then we will get back to the salad. My little elf helper is back <laughs> with the de-stemmed kale. This looks good, thanks. You know how annoying was that? It was, but it's tedious. Watching it's like, sports at the yeah. same time wasn't too bad. You know what sucks? Usually, like, thank you so much for helping me with this because usually I have to do this and then I still have to shred all this. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, of course, anything. I about. will need your assistance with it tomorrow again. <sighs> do you guys see how stained this is? I'm on my last batch of the kale. Thank God. Oh good, some pieces in here are like already fine. I'm not gonna lie, I am so over the salad and especially with the fact that I have to make it again tomorrow, I'm like pre over tomorrow's salad. <laughs> but it was a huge help that Trevor de-stemmed because it took a huge step out of this for me. I'm just giving it all a rough chop. The shredding has gotten much less consistent. <laughs> in texture the longer I've been doing this I was like going through and like finally shredding everything at first and now I'm just kind of like rough chopping luckily this knife is super sharp so it gets everything but yeah I've just been like rough chopping like that and I gather it up I'm just running the knife through it I'm sure some things are like overly shredded and then some pieces are not shredded enough but you know what <laughs> i'm about to lose my mind so this is where we are at <laughs> but that is the last batch oh my god thank god a super sharp knife is key for that one but i'm just gonna mix it all up a little bit is it just me or just sometimes like chopped kale kind of smell like banana am i going insane is that a stroke? We are blended. Like, oh my god, please don't spill out. I cannot stand it. I have to redo all that. I'm not gonna lie, I've completely forgotten the dressing recipe. I need to look it up. Half cup olive juice. Oh my god, do I have lemon? Shit. Fuck. I don't have lemon. I will be back. We got lemon. Perfect. So now we can make this dressing. Need a half cup of olive oil. And sorry for those of you who've seen me make this a few times, because you'll have already seen this, but half cup, I'm gonna lower you guys a little bit. There we go. Juice of a lemon. This is small lemon, actually. Let me get a decent sized lemon. I need a lemon juicer. I swear, I make well, not like a ton of recipes that require me to juice a lemon, but I do make a few. It'd be a lot easier if I just got a lemon juicer. I just use my hands like as a strainer for any seeds and stuff, but luckily if seeds get into this, they're pretty easy to pick out because it's just a dressing. Oh my God, I'm in the home stretch of the salad. I can feel it. It's almost done. Then you need one to two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. That should be good. And then just some, just some salt and pepper, and then just whisk it all together. Try this now. Oh, that's large pieces of fucking mustard in there. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and dress the salad. And final touch is some um, Pecorino Romano. And I do get really generous with this. I'm gonna go in stages though. Let's mix this all up. The salad is a workout. <laughs> Just wanna make sure everything's mixed really, really well. Okay. A little quick taste test.
Mm. Shit, that's good. All right, y'all, it's time. The greatest Christmas movie ever, black and white only. I swear to God, the people who watch this in color really disappoint me. If you are one of those people, please reconsider and watch it in black and white. That is the true way to watch this movie. That and what's the other one? Miracle on 34? Yeah, you can't watch that. Yeah, you gotta watch these it's ones black evil. and white. What Get type of evil person, <laughs> psychopath watches? It's sacrilegious to watch this in color. <laughs> we are getting ready now, but I got an Ulta order in that I share what I got with you guys because I'm gonna use a couple of these for my makeup right now. But the first thing I got was the Briogeo Don't Just Bear Repair Apple Honey Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. I wish I had remembered that I got this order in before I took my shower because I would have loved to have used this. I'm like really pissed at myself right now. I didn't remember until after I got out of the shower when I like went to go start doing my makeup that I had a new Ulta order in, so I will use this next time, but I just love the packaging. It's just so cute. And then I also, I needed a new one of these, the blemish extractors. I got the tweezerman ones because I like this style. I don't like the ones that are like circles on the end. I like the ones where they're like loops on the ends, like that. You guys can see. The Ulta brand one is just like two little circles, but the loop is where it's at. Is this only part of my order? I feel like I got more. Oh no, I just got one lip liner. I thought I got two. Okay, so I... Oh wait, no, I was supposed to get praline. What the hell? I wonder if it's coming separately. I think it is. But I got the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liner in the color Butter Pecan. So here it is. I don't know how true this color is going to be because the lighting is not great right now, but give you guys an idea. You know, it's just kind of like a warm toffee nude. So I'll probably wear that tonight or actually maybe tomorrow. I think tonight I might go with a red lip, but this is what I came down for. The Chanel Balm Essential. This is a multi-use glow stick in the color sculpting i forgot who i saw using this but oh i think it was keaton milburn but she used this as highlighter and to give her lids like a glossy wet look so i think i want to do that tonight so i'm gonna bring this upstairs actually i'm gonna bring all of this upstairs do my makeup and get ready because we got to pick up the paella for my mom on the way but here's what i look like before and then i will see you guys after i am ready here's the balm on my lids i had to put a little bit of powder over it because it was like sliding everywhere also too it will take your makeup right off so do it first but here's the outfit for christmas eve today this is the skirt from the princess polly set and then sweater is this off shoulder slouchy beige sweater from h&m it's kind of old and then shoes are the Frenchy slouch boots. But we're just gathering things up and then we're gonna head out, grab some Starbucks. We need to pick up the paella for my mom. I think I mentioned that to you guys. Then we actually need to go get my sister. So got a few stops to make before we get to my parents' house. So Trevor decided to try a holiday drink. He ordered the iced sugar cookie on the coffee. You can do a little review for them. Please be less enthusiastic. We got our Starbucks's. I got the cold brew with chestnut praline and vanilla cream cold brew, which used to be my signature Starbucks holiday drink. And lately, I like never order it. But you want to do? And I got what she said inside. <laughs> it's the sugar cookie butter or sugar cookie latte. Almond milk. Yes. But mm, shit, that's good. How you like it? Tastes different. <laughs> Are you wishing you had ordered your regular? No. Okay. It just tastes different. Sorry, I have my water in there. Here, go ahead. All right. So we just got back from Christmas Eve. I'm so tired and really shiny, but let Trevor open up one of his gifts. 
If ever he decides to come downstairs. Shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Thank there you, you go. I know it's on Paramount, but in no, case they take not. it off. <laughs> I'd rather the hard copy. I yep. hate. Yeah, you, you should always have a hard copy. <laughs> okay. Thanks, babe. Merry Christmas. That's awesome. Santa came today. I said hi to him. You in? Mm -hmm. All right. Open yours first. I'm so excited. I was really scared it wasn't going to be able to support the weight. So that was a special edition one. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, orange frosting. Got me a CBT drink. Is this my big present because they're so expensive? These are nothing you asked for, but I thought you would like. Stretchers! Like. Oh, yeah, I got you yeah, those good ones. Bed finds. More dunkers. That's the regular one, too, okay, so you yes. make the uh, special. Another scratcher? These better win. A $10 one better. And all the links? Yep. <laughs> I told you I was going to save up the... I was wondering because I saw that there were a bunch of these out on the counter and that they were all gone. I went to go snack on the blue ones and then there were none. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say there? That you always ask for body spray? They don't have the eggs on No, no, right I'm now. just curious about it. Thank you. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> I have this today. Thanks, babe. Well, because those two were, like, bigger. Which one do I open first? I'll do that one first. This one first? Yeah. It better not be a pinky ring. <laughs> did you see my wrapping, by the way? I did. I, I did swear bows. to God, if that's layers, I'm going to kill you. I did bows. Like, actual bows. Oh, oh, oh. You didn't ask for this one, but I think you need it. I need it, huh? It wasn't that much in case you end up not needing it in a little bit, but just... Well, let me open it before you tell me. What is this? Oh, nice! <laughs> Thank you! That's no, I, I do was, need it. That's why I was asking if your dad's Lexus has a Bluetooth. Because I was like, oh, he may not need this in like a month. I still would love to have that. Thank yeah. you so much. Really nice of you. Yeah. And then that's actually kind of a big present. This is a big present? Yes. You're my big present. <laughs> oh, nice! You got it! Thank you yeah. so much! <laughs> you get my ring size? I think so. I looked it up when we were doing our bands. Oh, shit. Is it correct? Yeah. Okay, good. What is my ring size? 11. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't remember this if is it was like the 10 exact and a half or 11. Isn't it? Yeah, it, yeah, it's the same one. Thank you. Oh. Really appreciate it. We're opening up presents from family. our family in Vegas. Do you want to open up the big stuff first or do you want to do? Let's do the big. Okay, they said to open up the big box first. The Amazon box. The box or the bag first? They said the box, then the bag. Okay. So you get the box. Should I say it? <laughs> no. Please don't. Yeah, use the scissors that you left out open on the ground. <laughs> if I had done that, you would have given me so much shit. Whereas other scissors, yes. They, oh my these. gosh. Amazing scissors? No, <laughs> can't even cut tape. <laughs> I was about to say. I had a feeling. They even told me what they is, were gonna get this for what us. Is that? The popcorn machine? Oh my gosh! This is the one they have in their house. Uh oh. And they were laughing. They're like, Uh, Trevor's gonna go crazy. They're like, We're just gonna get you guys one of these for Christmas. And I was like, Ha 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 ha! No, that's awesome. Nice. That's gonna save so much time. Well, you're just gonna pre-pop yourself for the week. <laughs> no, it'll be better because then the the movie theater smell will be in the air when we watch our cinematic adventures. <laughs> All right, then they said to open up this stuff. Second, oh my god, is it a year supply of popcorn? I, uh... <laughs> is it a year it supply? It is actually of... a year supply of popcorn. <laughs> Look at the bag with butter. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Oh Here you go. That's hilarious. That was also because Otis kept getting tired because we and I eat so much butter with our popcorn. He was like, dude, y'all are going through the whole butter. Oh my god. Okay. Cracked pepper, Asiago. Fuck yeah. 
ranch popcorn, that's for you. Ranch? <laughs> there should never be ranch. White cheddar ever. popcorn seasoning. Ooh. Salted caramel popcorn seasoning. That's for Sarah. Nacho cheese. Ooh, I'm gonna take a dab at that one. What is this one? White cheddar popcorn. Yeah, that one is me. You are not some, getting that. Shall we make some popcorn for Jingle All the Way? Uh, I think that's. You know what? No. Aw, sour cream and onion. Ooh. Not Sarah. Butter. More butter. Yes. Me again. Oh, Trevor. Spicy sriracha. <gasps> so, these two are I want no Sarah love. No, I want white cheddar. I love white cheddar. Sea salt and vinegar. Hey, okay, racist. Ooh. Okay, they hit a home run on the first one. Nice, thank awesome. you guys so much. <laughs> you can open Mysterious yeah. One. We don't know who this is for. I'm or assuming it's from- out of like Christmas My or mom? Christmas? It is from your mom, we just don't know who it's for. She always forgets to put names on it, not <laughs> on purpose. This is good for dark house too. But I guess it's to both of us. Oh, okay, salad and maybe fish. That's oh, very okay. nice. there you go. No, open another one. Ooh, lavender. Ooh. Oil. For sleepies. I might steal that one. Otis, Sabrina, Brie, and Kylie. Yeah, anything that's this are gonna be them. I still like to read. Thank you. The butt supply station. <laughs> what is that? Is that a tape dispenser? <laughs> no, it looks like a toilet roll. Oh no, it is a tape dispenser. I think it's a, t I'm gonna totally keep this for the high school. I was gonna say, you have to put that on your desk. Oh, yeah. that is fucking hilarious. Put that, that on your desk at school. That is so going into the high school. Thank that's you guys. so funny. And it has stationery. Nice. What is nice. it? Nice. Nothing. Oh, okay. All right. That's awesome. This is from them as well. <laughs> uh, I see Star Wars. I see my humor. Oh. Kid. Star Wars personal blender. Oh, God. That's Sarah written all over <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Kobe. Yeah. Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't yell Kobe. I'm sorry. That's like blasphemous. Oh, nice. Looks like it's a organizer for my oh, desk. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a charging station too. Oh, shit. Oh, That's nice. awesome. Yeah. Man, they are killing it. All right, it's from your mom. Oh, it's like one of those folding things. Or is this the, oh no, just kidding. This is the hanging. Yeah. To hang my sweaters. Yeah. They're so bulky. Yay. Oh my God, I need this. I like the box. <laughs> I'm so keeping that box. Yeah, so you don't have oh, to worry nice. about wrapping. <laughs> oh, I need these. Very shimmery pants. Yeah. It's awesome. Khakis. Khakis. <laughs> but they're dress khakis, so not to wear them at, well, maybe on a basketball game, but not a football game. Nice. That's awesome. We cleaned up well. Yeah. I mean, this place is a mess. It's, it's so buggy. Messy in here right now. For you to say it's messy? Holy hell. Hey. I'm gonna go with cracked pepper and Asiago. Is there a trash bag over here? Yeah, can you hand me that trash bag? All right, trying to get ready here. I just redid my skincare. Keeping things very simple and quick, or as simple as quick as I can do them, because we are now officially behind. I was having trouble getting to a place where I could get ready in. Today's been really really hard for me just missing both animals and stuff and like realizing the other day that like we got two last christmases in a row like last year was our last christmas with spart and the year before was our last one with pip and so it's just really hitting hard right now so i just like was not in a place to get ready for a while i would have had to redo everything so now i'm like last minute of course but you know it's fine these things always start late anyways. I know the holidays are hard for a lot of people. And I just like, I wanted to like pop on here just to say like, if you are having a tough time this holiday season, missing someone or preparing for your like your last Christmas with someone, I just want to say like, I'm thinking about you. I didn't realize that Christmas was going to be this tough for me. So 
cup. Okay, no, I'm trying to get ready. So I'll just say it really quickly. I didn't realize that Christmas was gonna be this tough for me. So definitely thinking of any of you guys out there who are going through the same thing or, or like I said, preparing for your last Christmas. Cause I just like obviously empathize so much with how heartbreaking and tough it can be. So yeah, just wanted to say, you know, thinking of you, you weren't alone on Christmas and feeling that way, being sad about the holidays. This one's definitely like the hardest Christmas for me that I've had to deal with, especially with both animals going around the holidays back to back. It was not easy, but I'm also running behind because I couldn't figure out where my dad's place last night was stupid hot like it was really really bad so i originally was like i'm gonna change my outfit because i didn't want to wear silk and be sweating and i legit tried on outfits for a half hour i couldn't decide on anything like i didn't like anything so i went with my original outfit <laughs> but i think i'm gonna put a different jacket over it this time just like a lighter one but it also took me so long to be able to get ready that the sun set and now I had to like pack up all my makeup into my travel case so that I could do it in the bathroom because <laughs> I don't do my makeup in the bathroom. I have like the vanity against the window but the second that the light's gone it's like the bathroom is the better place for me to do my makeup. Okay. Wow, I just looked at the camera and it's only been like 17 minutes which is kind of impressive considering the fact that i've been chatting and running back and forth to get supplies you know what would have been smart would have been putting my hair up in like the overnight hair curler since i was just hanging around the house and just letting oh you know i don't need to redo my bangs perfect but just letting my hair kind of set in that that would have been the smartest move actually the hair's not too bad i'm just gonna put in a little bit more of a wave to everything so it doesn't look so much like their leftover curls. Hi. Hey. I like oh, your hair. Thank you. I'm almost done. I just need to do this side. I just need my oh. beard bomb. Oh. I know. Right? I'm trying not to like stress too much because I don't want to sweat in the silk, which was the whole reason why I was originally not going to wear this. I mean, honestly, our family runs late anyways. I don't know why I'm like even stressing at all. And just like a couple key top pieces. Make it look really fresh. Hair and makeup in 20 minutes. I mean, slightly impressed. I am just going to throw on some black boots and then my Harley jacket and then that'll just be the outfit for tonight. Also too, you guys are blinking red. Talk about good timing. I'll see you guys. I don't know if I'm going to talk to you guys at my parents, but I'll film some stuff at my parents. <laughs> Okay, folks, end of the night, end of Christmas, end of Vlogmas. Thank you guys so much for watching along, and thank you guys so much for your understanding and sentiments when we had to take a break. I hope you guys enjoyed this Vlogmas season, and I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas with your friends and family. I am going to have one more vlog go up before the new year, and then after that, we are in 2023. So crazy how fast time flies.